country. Taylor Sauer, a freshman at Utah State, died earlier this year while driving home to Idaho. And this weekend, students from across the Treasure Valley got their hands dirty to build a memorial for Taylor and help spruce up the small town of Marsing. Jennifer Ah was there today, and she joins us with tonight's big story. Around 100 students worked this weekend on the breakthrough event, beautifying various public places, from community parks to even schools. Bittersweet is the perfect word to describe the event breakthrough 2012 in Marsing this weekend. The One Stone organization partnered with the United Way of Treasure Valley to renovate various parts of the town and create a unique memorial for Taylor Sauer of Marsing. But she went to my church and I knew her actually pretty well. It's, it's good to come out here and do things like this. It feels good after you're done. Taylor was a college student when she died in a car crash from texting and driving. Her parents say yeah. Taylor was a large part of their lives and it now feels very empty in the house without her. So we have to learn now to live a new normal and we'll, we'll learn how to do it and but it, it won't be the same. To honor Taylor's memory, student volunteers are building a pathway and outdoor classroom at Marsing Elementary, and they're naming the place Taylor's Corner. Taylor's parents say her dream was to help children. Being a teacher and so knowing that uh, she will be able to teach for always, that's it's pretty, pretty incredible. Taylor's Corner was just one part of the students' efforts to spruce up certain areas of Marsing. Students helped build a community park, painting benches, playgrounds, laying out gravel, mulch, and trees at other locations. Breakthrough 2012. A huge like, motivator into doing this event is just like the new people you get to meet, the new uh, like camaraderie you get to experience. The director of One Stone says the goal of the project is to teach students from bigger cities like Boise to see what it's like to be a part of a smaller community. And being able to take that and take it back to their own home and understand how to build a community where they're from. After this weekend, some of the projects like Taylor's Corner will be ongoing. The community project takes place in different locations every year. In the studio, Jennifer Ah, Fox 9 News at 9.